save the bluebird. Okay, class. You see, Earth Day is coming up. What's that? Earth Day is a day when we all celebrate the planet we live on and try to do whatever we can to help it. Is it in trouble? Well, in some ways it is, Marcy. It needs cleaning up, and plants and animals need our help too. Animals? Did you say animals? That's right, Stanley. A whole lot of animals are endangered because their homes are being destroyed. Ooh, I want to help! I want to help! Good for you! I want each and every one of you to plan a project for Earth Day, and then we'll all share them together and have a big party right here at school. What kind of things can we do? Well, you might want to plant seeds so new plants can grow, or clean up the schoolyard and get rid of any trash you can find. And somebody might want to think about how we can save energy. Miss Diaz, Miss Diaz, I want to take care of the animals. Yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> oh, we just had a feeling you might, Stanley. It's a big job helping animals in danger, but somebody's got to do it. I'll help them all. I'm glad to see you're all just as excited about Earth Day as I am. I'm gonna save all the endangered animals on Earth, Dennis. That's a rather large job, don't you think? Not for me. I've got it all figured out. A lot of animals are losing their homes because people keep cutting down forests.、Uh, that's certainly true. So I'm gonna invite all the endangered animals to come live with us. Here, in your room? Well, sort of. It'll be great. I'll open the Stanley Griff Animal Hotel. See? Don't worry, everybody. You'll be safe here. This way, alligators. How's it going, sea lions? You're gonna love it here, tigers. Excuse me, Stanley. Not now, Dennis. I'm welcoming my guest. Guess what it's about, those guests of yours. I think you're making a big mistake. Mistake? How can helping endangered animals be a mistake? Well, you see, Stanley, there are lots and lots of endangered animals in the world. I know, and I'll save them all. And I really wish you could, but the truth is, they don't all get along with each other. If you opened the Stanley Griff Animal Hotel, you'd have big problems, I'm afraid. I guess you're right, Dennis. Maybe I should just try to save one kind of animal right now. I couldn't have said it better myself. Why don't you look for one closer to home? Like what? Well, what do you see when you look in the backyard? I see Harry and Elsie, but they're not in danger. I take really good care of them. See anything else? Just a couple of birds on the fence. That's all. What kind of birds? I don't know. They're little and blue. Bluebirds. Believe it or not, those birds could be endangered. No, they couldn't. They're right in my backyard. It's really safe out there. They look safe, but they're not. Why, Dennis? Because they're losing their homes. Losing their homes? That's terrible. I've got to do something about that. Well, before you do, why don't you learn all about them in the Great Big Book of Everything? Okay. What's What you doing, Stanley? Oh no, they're going to sing that song of theirs, aren't they? I was just going to look up bluebirds and we, we know, know, we, we know. know. It's the Great Big Book of Everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. I simply can't understand why they love singing this song so much. No one's ever going to look through to find a bird that's blue. Let's see. Bluebirds start with B. Here it is. Bluebirds are quite beautiful, aren't they? Did you know they're a symbol of happiness? Is that because they're having fun all the time? Not really. It's because the color blue stands for happiness in some parts of the world, and people like to think the bluebird stands for love and happiness and hope. But you said they were in danger, Dennis. That doesn't sound very happy to me. Right. Let's go into the book and find out all about bluebirds and the problems they're having. Okay. Yeah. 
Wow, there are so many bluebirds here. That's because this is a perfect place for them to live. A great big meadow with plenty of trees. Bluebirds like to nest in hollow trees. Watch that bluebird over there, Stanley. It's eating something. An insect, I believe. Bluebirds eat mainly insects in the summer and mainly wild berries in the winter. Hey, look, it's flying over to that tree. I guess it decided to go back home. Yes, where it's safe and sound until... What's happening, Dennis? Who are those guys? They're the workers who are going to cut down the trees and clear the meadow, Stanley. Cut down the trees? Why? Well, because people want to build houses and roads and stores. I guess maybe that's not so bad for people, but it's really bad news for the bluebirds, isn't it? It is indeed. In fact, the poor little bluebirds of happiness have had a very hard time of it. Besides losing their homes when trees are cut down and cleared away... <gasps> Stanley! Watch out! The bluebirds also have a harder and harder time finding food. That's terrible. Poor bluebirds. They should be called bluebirds of unhappiness. That's what I think. But the good news is... There's good news? Tell me the good news. Well, a whole lot of people had the same spirit you have, and they figured out a way to save the bluebird. Yes! Save the bluebird! Save the bluebird! Um, what did they do, Dennis? They started building houses for them. Of course! What a great idea! I can see it now! See what, Stanley? The Stanley Griff Bluebird Hotel. Come on, Dennis. Let's go back to my room. I've got to get working on this. Did you hear me say hotel? Now let me see. How am I going to let all the bluebirds in the world know that my house is going to be a bluebird hotel? I know. I'll make a big sign. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Stanley. They won't come to live here because they like special little bluebird houses with tiny entrance holes. That's what you have to make if you want to help bluebirds. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so? What should I make the houses out of? Wood, I believe. Wood? Hmm. You cut wood with the saw. That means you're going to need help from Dad. Excellent thinking, Stanley. So you want to save the bluebirds, do you? Uh-huh. It's my Earth Day project. And all I need to do is build about a bazillion little houses. <laughs> a bazillion, huh? Yeah, that ought to do it. We could always make more later, right? Right. Tell you what, Stanley. Why don't we start by making one bluebird house? Okay. And then we'll test it. Test it? To see if any bluebirds come. We've got to make sure we get it just right. Yeah, Dad. Bluebirds are pretty special birds. They sure are. And I can think of someone else who's pretty special, too. Oh, look at your seeds, Mimi. They're already turning into plants. Good for you. I guess I really helped the planet, didn't I? You sure did. And see what I made? It's a potato clock. Does it really work? Uh-huh. Sometimes. It's really great to think about ways to save energy. You guys are all super. Hey, where's Stanley? He's way over there. Stanley! Stanley! We want to see what you made, Stanley. Yeah, where, where is, is it? it? It's over there, but don't go near it. What do you mean? Why not? I think I know why Stanley doesn't want us to get too close. Do you see what it is? It's a birdhouse! Dad and I built a birdhouse for a bluebird family. Now they're safe. Yes, it's a perfect place to be. You can turn them into fries! Mmm! I say this fish will chip in I've got a thought or two You know we all can help Hey, how about you? Every day is Earth Day And there's lots that we can do I can do it We can do it You can do it too! Every day is Earth Day It's the way it's got to be Make a happy world for you and me. La 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 la. That's wonderful, class. What are some other things you can do? 
I'm gonna plant a tiny seed and grow a giant tree. I'll fix a faucet. I'll save some energy. Remember, you can lend a hand, and I shall lend a fin. There's no time like the present, so let's jump in. Everybody! Every day is a day, and there's lots that we can do. I can do it. We can do it. You can do it too. Every day is a day. It's the way it's gotta be. To make a happy world for you and me. Let's make a happy world for you and me. Well, I'm gonna tell everybody I know to build bluebird houses. Maybe I can't build a bazillion of them myself, but I can ask a bazillion people to help. Good for you, because every time somebody builds a bluebird house, they're helping to save, save the, the bluebird. bluebird. Good night, Dennis. Good night, Bluebird of Happiness boy Stanley. 